All right, so I just want to give uh, just a quick walk through uh, general features and, and parts on the M5 and then talk about a few of the things that we've changed. Um, so starting from the top, um, one cool feature that I like, you know, we've, we've had a lot of people that are doing, doing really interesting things with the Movi, hanging it from ropes, you know, slinging it off the side of buildings, that kind of thing. So we saw the need to be able to quickly take the handles from the down shooting position and really move them in any position. So you can undo those two toggle clamps it gives you access to move it anywhere. So if, you have, if you're going to hang it from a rope and you need to quickly get that shot, do the two, two, two toggles, handles up, attach your rope kit, off you go, you're shooting, you know, whatever you want from a rope. Um, this is probably the, the biggest improvement, I think. The, the pan adjustment, we've actually taken the, the tube here. It's got a keyed feature um, built into it. So the pan, once you loosen it with these two toggle clamps, it can't rotate any longer. It can only slide fore and aft. So this makes adjusting pan balance really simple. I mean, all, all you're doing is just sliding, sliding this, this mechanism fore and aft and then reclamping it down and checking your pan balance, which is really nice. Makes it much easier in the field when you're under, under pressure and you have somebody that's really counting on you to deliver the shot and you need to do it quickly. We'll tighten that back up. Uh, so going down in this area, we have uh, the battery compartment is improved. This is a real quick release, just snaps into place. Super easy to change battery, held securely. This whole area here is all enclosed in a molded plastic enclosure, so all the wiring is hidden. The switch is built in here. Um, all the connections coming out of the gimbal controller are strain relieved. You can't pull them out. You can't get them disconnected by accident. Moving into the roll beam, um, we decided to have only a single point of roll adjustment on this, on this uh, gimbal. The reason for that is the camera packages that, that can be used on the M5 are much more specific, so you don't need quite the range of roll adjustment that you do on the M10. So there's no sliding of the roll beam back here. You're doing all your roll adjustment up here, which makes it significantly easier. The next improvement is the camera cage. Um, all the cameras on the M5 will be completely boxed in on top and the bottom. What this does is it makes sure that the camera is completely and rigidly coupled to the Movi. Um, we have our, our, our IMU sensor underneath here. And so this is picking up the movement and applying counteractive corrections. It's really important that whatever this senses, it, when it sends a signal to the camera to do the opposite, it does it exactly, it does it quickly, and there's no overshoot, there's no offset. You know, it, it, we need this system to be as accurate as possible. And that's what drove us to create this camera cage that really locks the camera in and makes sure that we have complete control over where the lens is pointing. With these smaller cameras, uh, the mounting isn't as rigid, so it's, uh, it's really helped a lot. It's, it's improved the performance of the system immensely. The next change is how we adjust tilt vertical. On the M5, we actually adjust it here from the center point. There's toggle clamps. You release those and it slides up and down. I think the next feature that I like, um, the IMU mounted underneath the camera plate. This is completely enclosed and it's strain relieved. So you can pull on this wire. It can't go anywhere. There's a, there's a strain relief feature built into this that prevents that wire from coming unplugged ever. I think another thing that we really like about the M5 is because of the improvements that we've made in the pan knuckle and the anti-rotation feature, it makes it a lot easier to adjust and also flip to um, inverted mode. So I'm going to flip it up, I'm going to point the camera in the correct direction, spin it around here. Um, this is a really, I've really enjoyed using this mode, especially with the smaller cameras. It allows you to really easily shoot eye level. Um, the, the way we've got the algorithm set up, you don't have to do anything weird. You don't have to select a different mode. It just knows automatically which way it is when you turn it on. Um, you can see it's just the same stabilization that you get the other way, just with a little improved range of motion. Uh, we're really, really, really happy with the, the final product here. Engineering team worked really hard on it. We were a little late getting it out because of Adding, we really wanted to add some of these features and improvements to, to make the product uh, the level that we expect it to be. Um, we appreciate your patience, and uh, the whole team here is really excited to get these out into the wild. If there's anything we can do to help you learn and help you grow as a Movi operator, we've got a whole team here excited to, excited to help you on that journey. Uh, just reach out and get in touch with us. Um, thanks a lot for your time.